Today I'm going to install a new brushless kit on my MJS F45 helicopter. I ordered it from China. I just got it yesterday. I'm going to try to make a video of uh, me uh, making the switch. This is pretty much what they sent me. It's a, it's a base with the brushless motor already installed. Everything was already soldered from uh, from the factory and it has uh, 20 amp ESC and uh, I believe this is a 2625 or so um, uh, brushless uh, motor and the whole base so it's just a matter of oh and uh, also they sent me the frame uh, fit to uh, with uh, these little curves the original does does not have that the original if you see the original is completely flat over here it doesn't have that little dent see so all I have to change is just this part the upper body of the helicopter just remove this plate then the other side and the base that holds the motor and uh, just connect the cables so we'll see how that's gonna how that's gonna work so so far at this point I had changed the upper frame and I'm putting together the rest of the parts I remove the the base that holds the motor I remove it without taking the motor out because as you saw earlier uh, they send this base already with uh, the new brush and motor installed so I'm gonna keep going through the process to see if I could f finish this and uh, go for a test fly real soon Just installing again the the tail boom. It's pretty easy because it's just a matter of uh, switching this upper frame metal plates and then put back together everything where it was. So it's pretty easy. It's not rocket science. Hopefully, I can finish this real quick. Okay, looking good. Oh, I'm missing one. Where is it? Oh. I have a whole bunch of cables to put back together, but uh, A whole bunch of screws. Just double 
checking all the screws are where they're supposed to. Oh, I'm missing another one here. one here okay. okay so far we're looking good Sort all these cables and definitely they're not gonna be going through there. I don't want that, I don't want the cable to mess with the servo arms, so I'm just gonna put them through this side. Try to keep them that way, and let's start importing this part, the main tube. In a part of this one. Okay, this is supposed to go like this. So, okay. So this one goes here. Let me see if I could fit it without missing everything. with little technical problems. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay, more or less. Put this in place. Double checking that all the parts have to fit this little little uh, hole over there. See this little thing should go in this. I don't know if you see it. Hold on. This little part, male part, goes on this female part of the frame. Something pop. I hope I didn't break nothing. Okay, 
I just finished putting together everything. I'm just uh, testing the circuit. I need to uh, tie all these uh, cables so they look good and they don't affect the they don't affect the, the, the motor. But this is the final result. As you see, move on these cables. What is to the side? Okay, this is the new motor, the brushless motor. This is how it should look. See the um, the plate that I change. They still look original. The only thing is that it has this little bend over here to accommodate the uh, the brushless motor, so because it's wider than the original one. That's pretty much it. The rest is the same. I just accommodate or put the servos whatever they were they were together uh, originally and that's pretty much it the um, the circuit board looks the same I just um, use uh, these cables that, that, that were the ones that are uh, used to power the original motor uh, let me see you can see them uh, right there yeah about this these cables every I mean everything came soldered already everything put together it was just a matter of a uh, plug all the cables in well the, the this cable comes from the ESC as same as this other one and this other one just goes in the very front servo uh, connector that is uh, is supposed to be free on your helicopter if you're just still running brush motor, this servo connector should be uh, free. But that's the one that I was using also to power my altimeter. So I had to solder this cable underneath that same uh, servo connector. So I just uh, look for another servo connector for, for, for from another helicopter that I had somewhere for parts and I make this little this little connection here and now I'm able to power my uh, altimeter so anyway everything together everything is put together and uh, I'm gonna run the motor real quick so you see how it's gonna how it's gonna be for that I'm gonna have to accommodate a little bit the camera a little bit farther because I don't want to make a mess over here okay well let's turn on this thing I'm gonna connect the battery right now just uh, just to run the motor Okay, and then I'm gonna hold that because uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a mess. Okay, no, I'm holding it. It has a low start. It has a lot of power. It's already, it, it comes already programmed with a soft start from factory so you don't show your gears okay that's it for now again this is how the old electronics looks And, uh, and of course the motor right here it's a very nice uh, setting and it looks pretty original and it has 
more power, trust me. This thing was pulling on my hand really hard. Okay, now I'm gonna put it together and I'm gonna go for a test flight.